Hey, what's going on guys? Mike from the Retro Electors, and today I'm doing a Black Friday pickup. Uh, as you can see what I picked up from Black Friday and games that I'm playing currently, games that I've actually put on the backlog a lot and got to you know, by the year end I would like to play them through and actually some of them I actually completed, but I'll go get through that real soon. First off, I, I couldn't pass up a great deal that EB Games or GameStop here in Canada as EB Games where you could trade in your old Xbox One, you get trade value for that and you could trade up towards an Xbox One S. I know an Xbox for an Xbox sounds kind of weird, but my Xbox was a launch Xbox. It's about four years old now, and it's, you know, I'm afraid that it's going to be, you know, conking out anytime soon. My kids use it as a primary Netflix machine. Now my power supply was making a lot of noise. So I find that when whenever I turned it on, it was making a little bit of noise because I think my kids were messing around with it, and I was afraid of that, you know, conking out my system. So what, what they had was you trade in your Xbox One and you get an Xbox One S and you pay a separate of $59 or 50, I think it came up to $54 Canadian, which is an amazing deal. So I got this for $54. I didn't necessarily need, but I, I find that an, it's like an added warranty on my Xbox, I find for 54 bucks. So, you know, this has, I have no issue with. I like the, the color scheme, the controller, it looks fantastic. It has a little, um, you know textured uh, things on the back and another good thing is it actually has a headphone jack whereas my original xbox did not have a headphone jack on the bottom you had to buy a separate uh, addition to the controller which is kind of stupid but yeah this controller is beautiful the system is beautiful i like i absolutely love it uh just the only thing that was annoying was trying to reinstall everything trying to get all my stuff back to the way it was my settings the way it was Luckily, I got some stuff back to normal and I deleted a bunch of stuff that I wasn't going to play anyway. So it was, you know, a 500 gig console for 54 bucks. Great deal, I think. And uh, next up, I got these two games. While I was in EB Games, I decided to pick up two good games. Bioshock, I've never played a Bioshock. I, actually, I lied. I played Bioshock Infinite and that was the only Bioshock I ever played. I know you're supposed to play in, in order one, two, and uh, Infinite. But um, I played Infinite, I played it through, I enjoyed it, but I didn't quite understand the lore behind it. So I'm assuming, you know, if I play through Bioshock 1, it actually gives you a little bit more of the lore and, and what, uh, you know, the game is all about. But I did enjoy Infinite, but with this Bioshock collection, it actually is complete with 1, 2, and Infinite, which is an amazing deal for, I got it for 19 bucks at a Black Friday deal. It's just a fantastic deal for that. And next is uh, Deus Ex Mankind Divided. And I've watched a little bit of the stuff. I watched Jason Hoof, JKB, did a review on it. And I've watched IGN do a review on it. And it's actually a really good game from what I understand. I haven't played anything since, like, maybe the original Deus Ex. Getting into that was something in, uh, totally different. It was a totally different type of uh, FPS. And from what I understand, this is a different from an FPS. And from what I understand, too, it's like a 30-plus hour campaign, which is really crazy for an FPS. Um... I'm really looking forward to actually playing this. I have uh, the first one, I'm, and I'm not exactly sure which one it is, because this is part two of the of the series. I have the first one on my Xbox One. It was free to download on Games With Gold, and I got that, so I might play that one first. But these are actually gonna be on the backlog for now. I have, like I said, I have other games that I'm you know pressing to, and one of them being Shadow Colossus. I'm playing through this right now. I'm, I think I'm on the fifth boss, or fifth dungeon, I guess you could say, or fifth beast and it's it's a good game i just the controls i can't get over like i put the game down and i'll go play something else and i come back to this and I, it's like i completely forgot how to play this game because the controls are so different uh, it's like trying to get used to the the camera angles and using your grip onto the beast it's you know it's a good game it's just trying to get used to the controls it takes some getting used to but, you know, I'm like I said, I'm on the fifth beast. I think there's like 14 or 15 altogether, so I'm still a ways away from that. Mario Galaxy, again, another game I've never played, and I'm glad I started it. I absolutely love this game. It's just so much fun. The bosses are so innovative in the way you have to defeat them and use your gravity or the elements that you have to use and try to beat them and try to outwit them. Uh, the waggle, which I thought was going to be a, a very big annoyance for me, but... It actually isn't. I, I, I'm actually sitting down on the couch and I'm playing and then, you know, I'm waggling away and... Giggity, giggity. Giggity, goo. Stick around. It controls really well. The camera angle is a little bit, you know, at times weird, 
but it is a great game. All the you know the typical power ups are there, but also a lot of new ones. It's it's so much fun. I'm I'm so uh, surprised that I, I missed this on the Wii, and I can't wait to pick up Mario Galaxy 2. So right now I've uh, I think you need 60 star bits to complete the game. I'm at like 45, and then you obviously if you're going for the completionist, I think there's like 120 if not more. But I'm just gonna go for the actually just the completion of the game. Um, I'm not gonna try to go for a 100% completion just to complete the game, and I'm absolutely loving it. Next up, Horizon Zero Dawn. You guys saw this in a past video, and the reason why I'm showing this again is because I actually played through it, campaign and platinumed it. I've actually completed this game. I do enjoy it. It's probably one of my favorite games of this genre or favorite games of this generation of games. It is really good, but I, I think that there's been a lot of other games that are just as good, if not equally good. I love Black Flag, uh, Assassin's Creed Black Flag, and this is just like an Ubisoft type game, even though Guerrilla made this game. I find that it's much like the Assassin's Creed games that you've ever played. You know, collect-a-thons, find this, find that. Um, it's a great game. I find the beasts are really, really good. Uh, they're, they're very good in variances, you know, from different when you're going to, you know, the mountainous areas to the hillsides to the desert. Vast, get different in gameplay where you can, you know, you can sneak up, you could attack full tilt, you could do so much. I found that uh, when I actually played through this and I got the power armor, which I actually cheated to get, which wasn't a really a cheat. It's an exploit in the game that you could actually access it before you actually need to. You just have to figure out ways to be creative and jump and and roll into certain crevices and, and do that stuff. So I got this, the power armor early. I've got about roughly about level 20. Uh, normally if you play it through uh, regularly, it's about level 40 you would get, get it. I loved it. I did really enjoy it. First game I've ever platinumed and I'm actually glad I actually did it. So this is gonna go back onto the collection shelf. I can see I actually completed this game to 100% and I'm glad I did. And last but not least, Mass Effect. I'm playing right now Mass Effect 1. It's for the Cartridge Club game of the month. If you guys aren't familiar with Cartridge Club, they're uh, a community of gamers that actually play and discuss games of the month or games that people are currently playing. So if you guys would like to join or see what Cartridge Club's all about, I'll put the link down there, down below. But anyways, I'm. Right now, their game of the month for November is Mass Effect 2, but I couldn't hop into Mass Effect 2 without playing Mass Effect 1. And right now, I'm actually dreading Mass Effect 1. Um, not to say it's a bad game. The dialogue, the voice acting is fantastic. The story right now is kind of uh, light. Uh, I'm trying to find you know uh, who this character is, and, and I'm not going to spoil it for you guys, but I'm trying to find a lot of... You know backstory for the thing but the, the problem i'm having with it is that there's no waypoints so you're set off on a mission and all of a sudden okay you start off a mission and right there right beside you is an enemy that just starts shooting at you why is there no build up to those enemies or you know if you start off a mission go to this elevator now you have to find this elevator and if you haven't accessed certain elevators yet you don't know where it is so you have to explore and a lot of these corridors look the same and it's kind of annoying trying to find where you're supposed to go so I'm, I'm like i'm going around in circles trying to find things right now mass effect one i'm about five hours in and i'm I, i'm just i'm just gonna power through it i'm not doing any side missions none of that i just want to play part two and then get on to three i know it's not a way to play this game i know you have to you know really immerse yourself into the lore but right now in mass effect one i'm not enjoying it i guess maybe five six seven hours in it may open up and be a little bit better but the lack of of waypoints i can't put that past it and it's just driving me crazy you know playing a lot of games currently with waypoints and directions that you're supposed to go this doesn't tell you nothing and sometimes it's you're lost and i i'm not liking that so i'm hoping to changes that but yeah that's what i'm playing right now if you guys like what you saw please like comment subscribe let me know in the comments down below what games you guys are playing or what you guys picked up in the black friday deals thanks guys